Our first guest tonight is an Emmy award-winning actress and director you know from the hit comedy Parks and Recreation, the films Mean Girls and Wine Country, and of course her work on Saturday Night Live. She directed the new documentary Lucy and Desi, which premieres tomorrow on Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome back to the show one of the best, our very good friend Amy Poehler, everybody. <laughs> So nice to be back. Uh, and an audience, too. I know. Last time. Last time there was no audience. You did a few. You did a few for us with no audience. Boy, so. it's really nice to see those faces out there. It is good to see human beings again. It really is. Yeah. I love human beings. Yeah, you've always. Oh, from the first, I, that's one of the first things we connected on. That's right. That's we were like, I love humans, you love humans too. <laughs> Remember, I was like, I can't believe it. Um, a couple of anniversaries just happened. I can't believe it was the seventh, uh, seven years since Parks had its finale. That's right. Which is crazy that that's seven years ago. Yeah. Eight years ago since this show started and you were our very first guest. I know, it was yeah. really exciting. Yes. I know, and, and you had another guest and one of us became president. Yes. And it wasn't me. Uh, but, I um, always say, I'm gonna say it every time you're here, uh, for guests on my first show were you and, and Joe Biden. Yeah. And Joe Biden, uh, we said, the only thing is, uh, I really wanna have Amy first. And he was like, that sounds good to me. And I gotta be honest, I think that speaks to a man who has uh, the first uh, a uh, female vice president put in the uh, first That's black right. woman on the Supreme Court, and he Indeed. put, I uh, let Amy Poehler go first here. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Joe knows what I like. Joe knows what you like. <laughs> Joe knows what I like. Um, I have a present for you, though. Do you really? Yeah, because, you know, the, the eighth anniversary of something, you know, you have to give, like, paper or wood. Yeah. And eight is bronze. Okay. Is it really bronze, or are you making it up? I'm not. It's okay. really bronze. Okay. I looked it up, Seth. Okay. <laughs> And so I got you a bronze medal for all of you. <laughs> Did you really? That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It is. So just know that you've been working hard for eight years Thank and you. you got the bronze. The bronze. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. I love this. You know, there, there's a study that says that bronze medalists are the, are the happiest. Really? Yes, because gold medalists have a lot of pressure and they think they're going to win. Silver medalists are mad they didn't win. And bronze people are like, I can't believe I'm up here. Yeah. That makes sense. Doesn't and then it? the rest of your life, I feel like if you're the silver, if you tell someone you're a silver medalist, right. people will always say, how close were you? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But bronze, it's like, I could have been eighth. Yeah. They're like, you know how bad this could have been, sucker? Yep. Um, so congrats time, on eight years. Uh, last time I saw you was a, a deeply fun couple of days. We got to go to Washington, D.C. because Lorne uh, Michaels got honored at the Kennedy Center. Yeah. And what was really fun about it, it was sort of multi-generational SNL people. We got to hang out backstage. Do you so have any fun. other memories? Nope. Okay. Um, so let's just move they're on. They're just kind of like a wash of, of people, right? Like it was like uh, there were stairs, there was some kind of carpet. Yeah. Uh, Joni Mitchell. Yep. That's great. Uh, you, should, Robinson. you should write a book. <laughs> about this night. <laughs> I should just do a book that just <laughs> names and carpets and, and sh it was so fun. It was so fun to do it with you. Yeah. And um, it was a, what, a, what a night. Don't remember anything <laughs> from it. <laughs> Not because I, was, I wasn't drunk, uh, yeah. none of that. It's just now life is just like a, like a watercolor. Oh, interesting. So you've moved into your watercolor it. period? I'm in more of my, like, my poetry phase where I'm like, a name, a flower, a scent. Yeah. You know? That's just, really interesting, because you were always, you were uh... <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, well, you had a, a, a celebration recently. Yes. Um, I know there's this very uh, tight group of uh, women who worked at SL uh, at the same time. Yeah. You guys are in a text chain that you won't let me look at or see. And, no, no boys uh, allowed. But you had, no boys allowed, but you guys had a, a birthday party for uh, you. And uh, Tina and me and em Tina and Emily Spivey, yeah. a writer on our show, we all celebrated our 50th birthday during the pandemic, as a lot of people did. So we didn't really get a chance to have a party. So we had a big bash together just this week. And uh, you guys all, you know, you and Tina knew each other before. But you met uh, Emily at SNL. You guys, uh, you, somebody made you a cake. The yeah, Lord Rachel Lord Dratch Lord made us a cake. <laughs> Dratch, Rachel Dratch made us that cake. And she made us a video too that was, oh my God, didn't make us ball. We had the best time and we did this Zoom thing where we learned about our Enneagrams. Does okay, anyone so, know about Enneagrams? Okay, so more people than I would have guessed. So, okay, well, there's other <laughs> uh, things outside your world, Seth. <laughs> but um, it's like a number 
that is like, it's like a personality test. Uh -huh. I made you take it. You did. You are a? Three. Yes. Yeah. You got a couple threes. Got a couple threes in the house. And threes, from what I understand, are driven, ambitious, hardworking. They're called the achievers. Okay, I, I'll take it. They're Thank the you. talk show hosts. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And they work really hard and they're charming. And um, we all got our, we got our numbers and we all found out our numbers and found out more about our numbers. And now you believe, would you, if you could go back, would you have wanted to know everybody's number before you started collaborating with them at yeah, SNL? I actually think it was really interesting because it kind of like tells you what motivates you. Like threes like a lot of praise. Like you're doing great so far, Seth. This is a great show. You got your medal. <laughs> we, like, yeah. we like our medal. We like our medal. Yep, I got your medal. <laughs> And um, I'm an eight, which is the challenger. Eight. <laughs> so I'm a challenger. Like uh, safety and security is important to me. I want to know who's in charge. Uh -huh. And are you are you the person in charge here? Uh, I mean, I feel like I am today. Today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Now wait. Does this mean that the, this is just branding the eight on my medal? Oh my god! I should wear this because I'm an eight. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but yes, it is about well, that's me. That's the thing, because eights are very passive aggressive with their gift giving. <laughs> yes, they give, you, they give you a gift and then you're like, wait a minute, it might look better on me. Classic eight. Classic that's eight. why it's an eight, because it's like- threes, it, wait. And, threes and eights love each other. Oh, now I want to ask this. Are we good, was it, would it make sense if you didn't know anything about our styles, if you were putting together an update duo yeah. to say, put a three in it? A hundred percent, here's why. Because threes work really hard and they, they want to achieve and eights are like, we got this. <laughs> and three is like, we don't have this. <laughs> I'm like, we got this. Also, oh, interesting. The thing that you want to know uh, who's in charge because you want to then, uh, like, it's you. That means you are not then in charge. Let me be clear. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I know there are people that are much better at explaining this, but because I'm an eight, I'm already an expert. Like, okay. I think I'm. Gotcha. An but what I believe to be true is eights like threes. They like hard work. They yep. like that. They like that. That's where they get a lot of self-esteem. Well, it sounds like what I liked, I mean, I could describe it uh, outside the number system, but uh, it seems like what I would like about working with an eight is somebody who I get very stressful about how things are going to go. And doing Update with you, you did have a vibe of like, we got this, which yeah. was exactly what I needed before going on stage. Yeah, I, I think you know, it was so interesting to hear everybody's number and also just to like figure out what motivates people, like what, how they like to work. And you know, you read and you're like, you read some numbers and you're like, the, the, the emotional artist, like, oh my God, how do you get through the day? Like, <laughs> you sit in your feelings all day? Like, well, that must be nice. <laughs> Those are fours. <laughs> Um, no, but uh, but it was really fun to do it, and it was fun to do it with the ladies, and we were laughing really hard because it was explaining all of us to a T. Um, that uh, I wish I would be there, and one of these days you should allow boys. To no, no boys allowed. Okay, great. Sorry. Um, I do have a lot more to ask you. We'll be right back. I'll just more put my, put from my Amy Poehler. <laughs>